Bad Stars asking a question. This message is somewhat long, he writes, but I wanted to tell you about something that happened a few weeks ago. I went out with this chick off the internet, find Mick's sister, girl two, and it didn't exactly go as planned. We've been talking for about a week or so prior to us meeting, getting to know each other well, even building some decent sexual chemistry through teasing and whatnot. Finally, wait a minute, how many weeks? Okay, for about a week, okay, that's good, one week. All right, finally, we met in person for lunch one day. The conversation went real smoothly. She and I kept it flowing with me learning a good amount of her life story, making her laugh, and genuinely having a good time. When the bill came, she took out her credit card and paid for both of us. I told her it was unnecessary, but she insisted anyways. And I thought to myself, wow, this chick must really dig me. Uh-oh. We leave, and I suggest we take it back to her pad to hang out for a bit. And she says, okay. At this point, I'm thinking that we have great chemistry. She paid for lunch. It's on. We get there, and we start playing Xbox for a few minutes to relax a little. You mean to check at Xbox? I'm sorry to hear that. About 10 minutes into it, after we got all settled in, I reached over and attempted to kiss her. She pulled and said that she has a lot of guy friends and doesn't like going into physical stuff right away because she was previously in a seven-year relationship and doesn't want to complicate things right now off the bat with someone new. So basically, she has a lot of guys. They're probably hitting the ass. And she doesn't know if she wants you to be hitting the ass, too. Uh, we were just talking about mixed chicks this morning where I go have coffee at. You know, issues and stuff like that. So anyway, um, they have a lot of options. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's continue here. Inside my head, I'm saying, fuck this shit. I'm not going to be your fucking buddy. That's probably what she wanted. So you made the choice not to get in line with the rest of the simps. And let's see how this turns out. I have enough buddies as it is. So I, so you really want to wife her up, huh? That's what we were talking about. You know how a lot of brothers, they get a mixed chick and they want to wife her up. Because it's like, a, you know, considered a prize or some shit. Just because she's mixed. Uh, let's see. Let's continue here. So I stick around for a few more minutes as to not make it overtly awkward and make up some BS excuse to peace out. I've not spoken to her since nor planned to. Well, she knew it was a bullshit excuse. She watched your body language after you. She turned rejected you. She wanted to control the whole situation and put you in rotation. As I said, a lot of mixed chicks, they, they got a lot of options. A lot of black guys will wait in line for a chance at a a light-skinned girl and you play yourself for that stuff I have a few questions for you one why would she pay for my lunch because she's the man she's trying to put you in, in line okay and flirt with me if she only had intentions of friendship not friendship but put you in line in rotation to uh, make you work for it uh, make sure you're, you're bowed down properly make sure you respect the fact that she's the light-skinned one and you're the darkie. Whatever happens, shade you might be. Basically, you're her boy. All right. What sign should I have been looking for instead? Um. Well, for her offering to pay, that's kind of a masculine thing. So that was like a, a red flag right there. A lot of guys think, "Oh God, I got a girl to pay for me." Uh, she she got up to pay without saying anything. And if you look at the conversation, you probably see that she was probably one of the more dominant ones in the com conversation also, if you actually play it back in the head. So that's the first thing that you missed. Uh, number two, why do you think women off the internet in general say they want a guy, yet get cold feet when it comes to time to taking it to the next step? Uh, that's not a lot of women. It may be uh, several women. Uh, there might have been red flags in the conversation. Unfortunately, this is the problem I have with you guys. You guys give me a story about what happened in the past is I wasn't there. I can't. I can only give you by what you say. 
which is obviously not the whole truth. If I had been observing, I might have saw something different. That's why, I like, you know, like on conference calls, guys start talking about, oh, there was one, like you just did. This one chick did this. What does it mean? I wasn't there, brother. I can only tell you what I can read from the situation, okay? Let's see. After I try to get intimate, girls have often said they want to take it slow out of fear. That's why they're on the Internet. Please understand that. Let us start makes you get into your head that women on the internet are 100 percent looking for many of them are 100 percent looking for a relationship and like the light-skinned sister she got a bunch of dudes she can pick from now the guy that that comes in that's going to woo her off her feet it wasn't you okay so chalk up to the game Uh, let's see. Maybe you were too light-skinned or something. I don't know. A lot of those light-skinned sisters, they like the dark brothers. I don't know if you noticed that or not. I don't know if you're old enough to have paid attention to that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Where were we? No, let's go to number three. Is there any way I can overcome these obstacles and make a good... Yeah, it, it comes out in your game. Okay? It comes out in how you present yourself, what you're doing with your life. Um, obviously, you didn't present yourself in a way to where this girl said, "I want this is my man." I don't know. What, I don't know what you're doing with your life, uh, where you're going, stuff like that. I don't know anything about you. Uh, I just know that there was a white guy with the same name that uh, I counseled years ago, and I told him to leave this one bitch alone. And um, he didn't listen to me, and he got in trouble over it. Okay, that's why I kind of toned down. You know, I was still in the game at the time, so you know, I was teaching from what what my stuff, what I was experiencing, what I was doing. You know, I, I was I'm strong, dominant male. Okay, so I'm tell I'm telling bitches do this, do that, and after the girl rejected this brother, you know, he's still trying to tell her what to do or whatever. You know, coming like you know, make I'll make the bitch bow. And I said no, leave that bitch alone. She uh, she put out a restraining order against the brother, and boom, he didn't. He broke it, got in a little trouble. Okay. In fact, my entire site told him to leave the bitch alone. It was an Asian chick, too. He got in trouble over an Asian chick that didn't like him. Okay? Because he wouldn't listen. But I'm, going, I'm rambling. My point is, though, um, she obviously didn't like or she couldn't put trust in what she saw in how you live in your life. You know, you may tell her, she might look at the car you drove, she might look at the clothes you're wearing, realize, okay, this is maybe not the path I want to go. Because women on the internet, they're looking for that one that's above them, they can respect, they can, they can trust to lead them, okay? And you didn't, obviously, see, well, if you had represented yourself as the one, the leader, of her future leader, then you would have, uh, you know, she, she'd be trying to woo you. So that's why I'm so insistent on, I'll think about this morning too, I'm so insistent on guys uh, becoming more in their lives. You know, not just working at a job they hate or working for, you know, a paycheck. But you got, for some of these chicks, especially, you know, these intelligence sisters, you got to have more than that going for you. And I said some of them. You're right, this shit is so fucking frustrating because I'm doing everything I should be doing. Yeah, because of their shitty past breakup. Hey, hey. Um, don't blame yourself on the girls with the past breakup hang-up stuff. Also, because they need to get counseling themselves. But it, it's how you represent yourself to them. If you could sell yourself the right way, you know, to where they can trust you, then they'll trust you. But if you can't sell yourself, and they get, their issue is so big, don't make it... Um, a mountain that you got to climb because that puts her as the prize you're the prize okay because as men we're the ones who are going to go out there start our own businesses start working uh, working two jobs or whatever so we can make our ends meet at least that's my generation you know we did whatever it took so I worked three jobs at one point okay third job was my business but I worked uh, part-time at a.m. p.m. I worked for Pacific Bell and I had started my business all right, that's the make ends meet back then. Um, 
And I was used to that. But a lot of the young brothers, I don't know what you guys are about these days, but I don't see the same dedication, except in a small minority. I'm speaking about the, you know, a lot of the young brothers out there, you know, you ain't hold it down anymore the way we used to, the Atlanta Star. But so let's go on and uh, see what else we got happening on this. And I've got about three minutes. Take a look at some of the comments. Comment on your video, Matt, it's happening. I'm white and I like this style, but the pretty face girls are more girlfriend material and the rounder ones are more like club freaks. Okay. Ah, people are arguing with me. Um, there's a video that I made a comment on. It deals with melanin. And I get the racial people, you know, commenting back on me. And they're, they're usually uh, re real religious. When they start rejecting DNA, that's what caused a lot of people to run to religion, so it makes them feel better. Uh, let's see. I'm a biblicist. The very word Adam tells us in Hebrew that the first man was white. And the very word Adam tells him that the first man was white. See, that's what they do. There were no white men in that part of the world. If you want to go, if you want to say that Adam was created in, um, by the way, the Middle East, what what you guys don't realize is the Middle East is actually part of Africa. Go look at the old maps. This is a 19th century thing where they separated. That's why they, uh, the Northern Europeans renamed it the Middle East. It's actually connected to Africa. That's how we got there. We walked over the land mass right straight into the land, into Yemen and all that stuff. Spread out in Yemen all through the Middle East. Okay? I just looked at a map yesterday, the original, was one of the original maps. And it said, and it showed this is all the original old, what Africa was. The rest of it was called Asia. So, bam, that just takes care of that right there. Okay? This is a, a 19th century construction. Uh, also, they they tried to rename North Africa as being different and call everybody else Sub-Saharan Africans even though the same people spread up there it's just that people from Europe came and mixed with the people in the North more than they did with people in the South obviously they didn't cross the desert at one time there was no desert there too uh, let's see so these people they believe that Adam was a white guy and they always talk about the, the original ruddiness of human skin and uh, biblical stuff. And I don't get involved in it. They can believe what they want to believe. Our DNA is proving the truth through science. If, if it makes you feel good, fine. Uh, one of my own people <laughs> got some nonsense. Black people didn't build the Sphinx nor pyramids. Hell no. Aliens did. That's from Spiritual Jen. He's a uh, northern white European in um, Norway or someplace like that. Aliens did. The secret of the pyramids really isn't... There's a guy that's got a... Almost got it licked. I mean, he's like down to 99% of the house, and it's not that hard. It really ain't that hard to build the pyramids. But you got to look at it this way, Spiritual... Spritual that black folks been here for what 250,000 years plus civilizations have ro risen and fallen they have old cities they found down in South Africa 70,000 years old they're, they're charting the stars the oldest calendar is 70,000 years old in other words and it's down there it's called Adam's calendar look it up okay aliens didn't build it it's made out of fucking rocks come on that's the other thing uh, Europeans like to do is say, well, aliens built the pyramids. And I do believe there was something else going on there. And I've looked at all the information on it. But we also have the records of who built the pyramids. And it wasn't just the Jews, as they called themselves, or the Hebrews. In fact, they did some, some more research. They found that the Hebrews weren't even slaves. 
like it says in the Bible. They were fed beer and bread. They lived in okay quarters. They were there working, you know, making money. All right, let's see. The brother, Michael Nolan. Okay, now I get, get it with eye contact. Uh, glad you got that there, brother. Okay, once again, I comment on other videos out there. We can be prejudiced against other races, but not racist because we have nothing to prevent. That's my statement. Make sure you tell that to the blacks who murder others and hate crimes. When blacks prevent someone from living a life, I remember it's merely prejudice because you have nothing to prevent other races from having. Get over yourselves. Tons of fun. And he didn't like the fact that black folks can't be racist because we have nothing other races want. We can't prevent other races from moving into neighborhoods. We can't prevent other races from getting loans, all that. That's the definition of race, racism and racist is the, the superior attitude. We don't have that superior attitude. That's what, go look at the real definition of racist. We can be prejudiced, but we can't be racist. Only one race on the planet, only a couple of races on the planet can be racist and practice racism. Oh, that, that's kind of changing, though. Now in South Africa, now we can make the claim that in South Africa, because the roles have been flipped, and the white folks are on the bottom, and black folks are on the top. So now, Southern Africans can be called racist. After all the racist shit was done to them for all those hundreds of years? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's all of my comments that I need to say. I gotta remember not to use this channel to make my comments on, because I have another channel, Seeker of Black Truth, that I should be using. And uh, when I make these comments, so they keep coming back to this section. And I don't know why Caucasian fellows, you guys, some of those Caucasian tell me this. Why do you guys go to black channels to disrupt them and, and you know, say racist stuff? I, I, I don't get it. You know, you're already the dominant race on the planet. You already should feel the best of everything in the world. And then go down around to these, you know, black folks are waking up, finding out real shit and stuff like that. They go and disrupt shit. I don't get it. But it is what it is, I guess. YouTube's a freaky place, fellas. It's weird. There are some weird fucks on YouTube, and they're all preaching. Like the fellow that came here, they was preaching the bullshit. Uh, that's why I started making the comments. You know, it's, it's all that glory. It's, they play that music, show some Viking shit, and you know, f um, fuck that. It wasn't as glorious as it looked in the past. Although I am watching the show, The Vikings. So far. I haven't seen any homosexuality in this, so I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to stop watching the following because they keep showing homosexual shit. Plus, you know, Kevin Vegas playing a guy with a weak heart. You know, he gets his ass beat every time he turns around. I don't want to watch a hero like that. I, li I like a real type of manly hero. Not some guy who gets his ass beat looks like he's starving to death. 